You're listening to 90.3 KEXP Seattle. You're tuned to Positive Vibrations with Kid Hops. New Kingston, live on air on 90.3 FM. New Kingston One. Band, live on KEXP.
New Kingston Band live here on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Yeah, yeah. You guys, firstly, a million thanks for making this work into your schedule. Yeah, this has yeah. you know, been in the works for a while. I've been trying to get you guys to the studio, and I'm just thrilled to finally have this opportunity to be here in the same room with all of you, nice. listening and hearing you play. Um, Many, many, many thanks for being here. And I know the listeners are, are thrilled to have this experience to listen to you guys live on air. Nice. What's up, man? You know, when, it, I, love, I love your music because it is greater than the sum of the parts in many, many ways. And um, this really interesting, I mean, your perspective on kind of reggae music and where you're coming from being based in New York rather than based, you know, elsewhere. Um, I feel like you've got a really unique mix of elements and influences coming into your tunes that, you know, results in something that is very unique. You know, New Kingston sounds like New Kingston. No one else sounds like New Kingston right ah, now. Respect. respect. When I'm hearing your tunes, I hear tinges of kind of like early and mid 80s compass point recordings, Sly and Robbie kind of stuff. Did you guys listen to that a lot when you were young? Well, I mean, ultimately because of our, the influence of our, our pops, you know, um, the, the things we've listened to has been very wide. And reggae, it's like we're, we're following the tradition of reggae, so to speak, because, you know, reggae came, came out of something else, you know what I mean? So New Kingston follows that same tradition where we take from different genres and bar from life in general and just put that back into our music. Do you feel that being based in New York City provides you a different perspective on, on music and, and ultimately the art that you're making? 
Definitely, yeah. most definitely. I mean, New York, I feel like New York is like a hub of all ethnicities yeah. in the world, like you know? So everything is right there in New York City. So we have been exposed to everything, you know? Um, Jamaica is like, New York is like a second Jamaica to me, you know what I'm saying? The Caribbean is the second Caribbean in New York, you know, everywhere, every corner you go, you'll run into a Caribbean person, you know, and I'm talking about Trini, I'm talking about Guyanese, Jamaican, everything. So we get a wide range, you know, we'll, we'll dabble into the soca, into the dance, so definitely hip hop, R&B and everything like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's all there in New York. So we get to mix it with our foundation genre, which is reggae music. Yeah. Absolutely. These are some crazy times politically, not just here in America, but all over the world. All over. It's the messages that you guys are, are singing about and rapping about are more important now than ever before. Are you finding that these challenging political times are providing you an opportunity to connect with your listeners in new and different ways than before? Well, I'll just say, uh, before anybody even jump in, I'll say we live life, right? As uh, before, before anything else, we're we're humans, right? Absolutely. So everything that happens around us affects us. So it it's it's it it comes out in the music. You know, we have to 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 live it and put it back in the music and 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 speak our truth too and and the things we see. So it's definitely a factor. As you're on the road, as you're traveling around, um, and reaching more and more people, uh, does it seem to you like? Awareness around Caribbean music and music of the Caribbean diaspora is, is at a higher point now than it has been previously? Is it growing? More and more people turning out to the festivals, more and more people wanting to hear your sounds? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are embracing reggae music right now, a lot of musicians, you know, so reggae music is growing, you know. Um, the Caribbean reggae music is growing as well, you know. Um, I feel like New Kingston, we're a nice bridge between, you know, American reggae and Jamaican reggae because of my father, you know. So we're doing our part as well to help push reggae music forward. Just like you said, with our sound, it's like a new type of sound. It's a New Kingston sound, you know, which will hopefully be stamped as a reggae sound, you know, for the future and stuff like that. So I think reggae music is growing immensely, honestly. Absolutely. Um, I want to I want to hear some more tunes. I do want to talk with you guys some more. Um, but speaking of kind of new sounds and a new take on sounds, let's hear stereotypes. All right. We're going to start this one with a little different vibe, you know, yeah. this is like the live New Kingston experience. I get him back to Africa, buddy.
to see the truth. One thing I learned from young when I was a youth. They told me to do good and it will follow you. Of a woolly bread does me job. Yeah. Of a woolly bread does me job. Yeah. Under pressure now I fall. Feel it's not a friend, it's a fall. So break down every gate. Uh-huh. Break down all. New Kingston live on 90.3 KEXP. You guys are performing tonight at Barboza up on Capitol Hill. That's happening tonight here in Seattle. Yes, and then tomorrow you head up I-5 to Bellingham. You're playing at the Shakedown uh, tomorrow. Um, seeing you guys live in this room, um, I mean, that exchange with, with the drums earlier with Chris and Fada swapping spots. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just very, very apparent what a, what a group effort your compositions and performances are more so than any band that I've ever had passed through positive vibes um, you guys are all brothers other than Chris sorry Chris cousin <laughs> cousin cousin okay so this truly is a family affair all the way through to Chris on percussion um, what are your earliest memories playing together you guys I mean you guys have been playing together for so long Brooklyn, New York City, yeah. playing at a club called Port Knockers on Ooh. Atlantic Avenue. <laughs> Just us singing a bunch of dance hall, a bunch of foundation reggae music, you know, yeah. earth, wind, and fire whispers, you know, shout out to our pops on the bass, Father P. You know, back in the early days, he just really had us in certain clubs around <laughs> Brooklyn, New York, just playing a repertoire of a wide variety of music, you know, just mm-hmm. to kind of hone our crafts to get where we're here now, you know, so. Yeah. That's like the fondest memory, Port Knockers. I love that club. We used to just go there, all the homies come out. We just have to have crazy fun there, you know? So how old were you guys at that point when your dad was taking you to the clubs? Well, I'm the youngest, so, you know, I think my age will probably sound the best. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably like 11, 12, you know? Honestly, I, it was like right the summer before my high school, like my freshman year in high school, I really remember like us doing gigs and stuff like that, mm-hmm. you know? So I was probably like 12, maybe 13. 13 that's right there. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, does that complicate things when you guys are on the road? You know, it's like you guys have been growing up and sharing a home for a very, very long time, and then you... T- put all of you in a bus and it's yeah. the same dynamic is it is it challenging is it not challenging i mean what are you say well life is always a challenge you know but we learn over the years how to you know to just treat each other with respect and, and understanding of each other you know absolutely and, and that helps yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that helps yeah, absolutely yeah. all right um how do people how do people keep up with all of your music this latest album, this latest album is your third for Easy Star, but your fourth full length. Is that right? Uh, second, so second for, for Easy, Easy Star. Star. Second for Easy Star, but fourth full length album. Yes. So how, how do folks keep up with your music? What's the best way to follow along and, and keep up with what you're doing? Uh, the best one stop destination is newkingstonmusic.com. You know, but for the people who use the streaming services, you know, there's iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, Tidal, Spotify. And just Google New Kingston, you'll find us for sure. You okay, know? but I mean, you know, people are tuned in right now from all over the world, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So the best way to keep up with where you guys are appearing next and the new albums that are coming out is newkingston.com. New Kingston New New Kingston Music. Music. To newkingstonmusic.com. Okay, yeah. um, wonderful. I want to hear an, another cut from you guys. Is there anything else that you want to share with us before we wrap things up? Look how far we have to go. Come on. Yeah, this man. last song we're going to do is called Come From Far. You know, this is like you were talking about, about this time and just in life, in the world in general, so much things going on. And 
I feel like this is a real reflective time for everybody. You know, um, this guy, he came out to the show with his wife and he said, I've been just singing, look how far we come, look how far we have to go to his wife, you know, because any aspect, any journey, mm -hmm. you know, you have to look back and reflect sometimes and then you look forward and you say, yo, just appreciate where you are right now. And that's why we call this one, Come From Far. New Kingston Band live on KEXP 90.3, Positive Vibrations. You guys, my, my deepest, deepest heartfelt gratitude. Many, many thanks for coming through the studio. Absolutely. I'll see you tonight over at Barboza. Yeah, You're up on Capitol Hill at Barboza tonight. And um, I just cannot thank you guys enough. Many thanks to the video crew for capturing this. This will be up on the KEXP website soon. Nice. Yeah. And big shouts to Julian on the on the front of house mix. Thank you, Julian. Big up, Julian. Bye. Catch me tonight, man. Capital Hill. <laughs> many, many thanks, you guys. New Kingston live on KEXP. It's 90.3 FM, KEXP, positive vibrations. Thanks. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.